Yes, I know you can see the camera in the mirror behind me. Am I gonna change it? No. <laughs> the lighting's good, I guess. I'm sure by now you've read the title, and just hold on for a minute, my friends. We will get to whom I'm cosplaying soon. Yes, it is true, I haven't cosplayed since 2018. There isn't any particular reason why I haven't done any cosplay in recent years. I think the historical side kind of caught my fancy and I just ran with it. I've had material set aside for this cosplay ever since I moved back to Austin. The idea only came back into my peripheral once Foundations Revealed announced its costume contest theme. Its theme is Once Upon a Time, and those who are entering will be making an entire outfit for a specific character from fiction. Trees close February 3rd. So this will be a fun little challenge for me to see if I can actually do it in time. Now, I can't keep this a secret any longer. <sighs> the character I'm cosplaying for the Foundations Revealed Once Upon a Time contest is... Vaxil Dawn from the Critical Role comics. Now, I realize 60% of my subscribers might not know who this is, so I'll fill you in. Vaxil Dawn is a half-elf rogue from the hit influential cause... <laughs> from, from the first season of the influential D&D live play podcast known as Critical Role. When I was watching the first season, Vax was kind of like a sleeper hit for me. I fell in love with another character mostly because I was dealing with some heavy shit TM copyright TM. <laughs> but after more and more playtime, Vaxeldon really stole my heart. He's serious, but not too much. He's a little broody, but mm, but he wears his heart on his sleeves and really loves his uh, player character sister and player character uh, romance interest, as well as his NPC romance interest. He's bisexual. I really wish I had the flags behind me so that I can be like, twins, but no. And also, that rogue damage. But, but, Sunny! <laughs> Foundations Revealed said no film, TV, or video games. Okay, first off. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, I feel, can be classified as a work of fiction that is not TV, video games, film. And so can the tales that people build off of those rules in the book. Second off, I'm actually doing this cosplay based off of the designs in the Critical Role comic books, which happen before the podcast starts. So Kathy, if you're watching, don't kill me. Love you. Now with all that shit out of the way, let's do a good old-fashioned haul. Haul time. <laughs> I wish I could make a song out of that, but yeah, no. <laughs> oh god, this is fucking heavy. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for like two years, so of course, this is a lot. <laughs> so, let's look through the stack, shall we? This is a black linen. It was it is the same te it is technically the same linen I made Janaya's doublet out of. Next up is this gem I found. Jesus Christ. This dark like velveteen that I found at the ACR uh grab bin. I bought this for 50 cents. 50 cents. <laughs> And um, I'm just in love with it, so I'm going to incorporate it however I can into this project. <laughs> Next we have a shit ton of pleather fabric, because this was before my, uh, my, this was before my swearing off of buying everything that is not a uh, natural fiber. So I still have a lot of this in my stash. These are two blonde uh, mink pelts. Uh, ACR dated this from the 1950s. 
and uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure it is from the 1950s because it kind of smells like a grandma. Um, I got this <laughs> L'Oreal Paris Feria uh, hair dye. Hair dye? Um, <laughs> To dye the blonde mink coats kind of warm gray. I got these three yarns. I knew the mink pelts weren't enough to recreate the design with all the like fluffy Sherpa fur. So I decided to put my uh, yarn hair weft yarn doll hair weft making uh, skills to use and make my own fur pelt out of these uh, these wool yarns. Getting to the end of the bag here. I have this this natural linen which I'll make the pants out of and two bottles of gray this seven yards of straight up cotton because I don't know, I want to wear this to like summer cons and I don't want to make his cloak out of like wool. And uh, after I bought most everything for this project, I found this uh, kind of, I found this, poly I found this polyester uh, wool wolfy type fur. And so, um, I hope y'all are looking forward to actually seeing me do a cosplay on this goddamn channel. Whoa. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.